ดีครับ As many of you may have already known that curry paste is a very important ingredient for many Thai dishes. And today I'll be showing you how to make panang nea or beef panang curry. And we will see how it's different from the green curry. What you see here is a red chili. Now this is what makes the panang red, unlike the green curry or gang kia wan, which uses green curry to make it look green. However, these chilies must be dried before use. Now that we have the dry chilies, the next step is to mix the spices and make the paste. Oh, smells so good! Here it is, a nang chili paste. You see, life is so easy nowadays because you can find this pack of panang paste at any Oriental supermarket around the world. So convenient, and I can assure you that this package is made according to standard. No contamination, no germs, and no artificial coloring. I think it's time that we go to Chef Noguid and let her show us how to make panang nia. Very easy, yet delicious. Hello, Chef Nguyen again with the Penang Nguyen today. What you need to finish this curry paste? Dry chili, soak and de-seed, lemon glass, peel, slide, the kaffir around the skin, and young galanga, shallot, Thai garlic, coriander root, also with coriander seed, trim paste, salt, cumin seed, and white pepper. If you want to do handmade, slide everything and power it up until you get this finish. We'll take ages, but it's worth to try. And I want to get started. We want to tender the meat. Again, um, same as sushi. One cup coconut and one cup water. First, just heat up the coconut a little bit. When it's bubbling, we add the meat, lower the heat. And just leave it there to simmering until it's tender. So, what next with Penang? With the Penang, the smell you get, you get a hint of cumin. Also, you get the peanut taste. Right, you want the curry paste, you want meat. Um, I recommend you to use the um, fillet. And you have the um, palm sugar, good quality fish salt, and some oil to fry off the chili paste. And of course we like to add um, sweet basil. And we want to garnish it with kefir leaf and banana chili. Right, so I heard it bubbling. I want to just tip my meat in there. Okay, just lower the heat. Stir it one more time. You have to coat the coconut in the milk. Just let the meat Sink deep in the coconut cream. Don't try to use milk. You cannot get away with milk. We really want coconut. 
You can get it off at a, any Asian supermarket. So, why the meat tendering? We want to start my coconut stock together. One cup cream coconut, one cup water. The water helps thinning it down. So, bring it to simmer. The meat will suck the juice of the coconut. It gives really a film of coconut smell. It smells fantastic. Now, just, okay. With the coconut, you need to stir it from time to time. Don't have to stir it consistently, but from time to time. Okay, all right. Put it in there. Make sure you coat nicely with the oil. So the meat is tendering it. So I will just let it sit in the coconut and we strain it off later. Right, and this is coconut cream. It's a little bit different than sushi fish. With the sushi fish, you need to heat it and slowly put it in, but this one, we will just heat this chili paste and we slowly add this. This will come in later. Right. Penang will make fantastic lunch, fantastic dinner. I even have it for my breakfast. When I was in school, I used to put it in my sandwich. It's not too hot, it's very really nutty, and the meat is just fantastic together with coconut cream. Now we like to put a um, like little coconut. A little bit more. I will just lower my heat a little bit. Okay, keep stirring. So it's well blend together. Add a bit more and stir. Okay. What we do with the meat here is not just to tenderizing, but the old timers really smart. If you cut the meat right into the pot, the blood will just bitter your sauce. That's why we boil it. That's why we um, boil the bring to simmer with the coconut cream. Okay, get all the lumpy out. Keep stirring, put more in, check the heat, make sure you don't have too high heat, otherwise you will burn it and the oil will come up to the front. We like to add peanut, freshly ground your peanut, okay, because peanut can be toxin and we really want the fresh smell of peanut, we don't want old smell of peanut in your sauce. Then we just add fish salt, okay. Coconut sugar or palm sugar, and then stir. Just keep stirring till you get the lump out. Hmm, smell very good. Now I'm just gonna turn off that heat. Great. I take my meat out. Alrighty. We like to add in the sauce. Okay. Crank up the heat a little bit. Just gonna add my lettuce spoon. Just put a little bit. Keep stirring. Okay, that's look good. Mm. Once it's bubbling, I will count to 10 in my silent count. And then we'll turn off the heat. I'll throw in my sweet basil and stir and finish. You get the aromatic smell of the coconut, the peanut, and the hints of basil. It's great over jasmine rice, but also fantastic on your toast. You can toss it over your pasta and it's just excellent and very easy to make. And it's finished. Phnang Nguyen, done.